Hello, we're here on a beautiful sunny day in one of the withy beds here at Slimbridge. Welcome to Wildlife Weekly with me, Dave Painter. Over the past few weeks, we've seen massive changes in the bird populations here as the winter birds depart. We'll be looking at that. We'll be looking at signs of new life uh, as well. And we'll also be giving you a few tips of what to look out for, what to expect over the next few days and weeks. Well, the last week of February, the first few days of March, uh, saw one of the biggest exodus, mass exodus of birds that I've ever seen here at Slimbridge. I think in that period we lost well over 10,000 birds, especially things like the, the lapwings, the golden plovers, big numbers of ducks and of course the Buick swans as well heading off on the first leg uh, of their migration heading back to their breeding grounds in the high arctic of Russia. As we've come to expect at this time of year, we saw the, the white fronted goose flock moving closer to the hides. They like to feed in the center of the reserve uh, here just before they head off on, uh, uh, on that migration. It's a brilliant time to get really close views of them. But I'm afraid you're gonna have to wait until next year now. The last few birds left just a day or two ago. Well, of course, it's not all about losing birds. It's about getting new ones as well. And this last week or so has really been dominated by avocets, those fantastic waders that are coming back here to breed. This will be the fourth year. We hope that they will try to, to breed here. Very successful last year. A dozen youngsters were reared. We've already had 24 avocets on the reserve today and they're prospecting all over the place. This is a great time to come and see them. New life springing up as well. Watch out for mallard chicks. We've seen the first ones already. And if you're around the grounds, watch out for the nanes. They're already starting to build and will be laying eggs very soon. Well, things to look out for over the next few days and weeks. Um, certainly watch out for barn owls. Just recently, the last few days, we've been seeing them a long way off, but out from the, the Zeiss High, daytime sightings as well. So that's an opportunity not to miss. Watch out for the first warblers that are coming back. Here in the sunshine, we would hope to hear and see chiff chaffs. Uh, lovely little contact core, try and do it. Can't do it when I'm grinning. Uh, and their songs, Listen out for that. We should be hearing that very, uh, very, very soon. Watch out for little egrets. We're seeing more and more of them around the site and they're in summer plumage now. These beautiful fine plumes on their chest and on the back of their head. Really uh, fantastic looking birds. Zeiss Hyde, Holden Tower, probably the best area to see those. I think one of the main attractions though over the next few weeks is gonna be the cranes. We've already heard them calling. In fact, there was one calling uh, briefly just then. We'll see a lot more activity, lots of displaying, or their dancing moves. Um, there'll be nest building, and we hope we're gonna get some eggs again as well. Of course, it's not just the mallards which are uh, getting their youngsters just now. Watch out for these guys as well. This is the great giant duck hunt. They'll be around the grounds from the 28th of March to the 12th of April over the Easter holidays. <laughs> well, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and followers on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to our, our newsletter to keep you up to date with the latest videos and events. <laughs>